Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can easily brand a Microsoft 365 uh, login uh, page. Uh, this is essentially the page I'm talking about, right? When you are logging in into any of Microsoft 365 services, whether it's Outlook or you know Microsoft Teams or uh, any SharePoint site, you are probably familiar with the screen, right? This is where you enter your email address and then the password, but uh, it looks like this by default, all right? Uh, there are a few things you can actually brand here. You can actually customize it uh, and you can customize the background image as well as the logo, all right? So let me show you how to do that. Um, so for that, uh, you do need to have access to the Azure AD Admin Center, all right? So you either need those permissions or you need to be a global Microsoft 365 uh, admin. So you navigate to the app launcher, click admin, and uh, under show all, we need to navigate to the Azure Active Directory. And then from here, we navigate, you know, just click on Azure Active Directory. And from all the options, the one you need to choose is company branding, all right? And essentially, um, by default, I already actually configured the, um, you know, the company branding. Uh, so I'll just show you after it's already set and done. But by default, you're not going to have anything, all right? By default, you will need to create essentially, uh, you know, the, the, the default uh, branding page, which I already did. But I want to show you something else. You can actually create alternate, uh, you know, login screens or experiences for different languages, all right? Uh, very uh, useful if you are, you know, part of the organization who has offices across the world, right? You might have a certain login page for maybe US users and another page for other users. So you can actually create, uh, you know, custom ones here. But in our case, uh, let me show you what I, uh, I did. Again, you just create a, you know, a default one. I already created it. Uh, but essentially what you need to do is when you uh, create this new default uh, login page, uh, login experience, um, those are the settings you can adjust, all right? And essentially um, it's all pretty self-explanatory, just allows you to customize, you know, various aspects of the page. I'll just focus on the main two, uh, the first two that you see here. So you need, you can upload the background image, which is what I did. And the critical piece here, it has to be a certain size, all right? You cannot just upload any logo, any image you get. Uh, just make sure it's in a uh, specific, you know, it has the, the specific size outlined here, all right? Uh, and then you can do the same with the logo, all right? Once again, it has to be, you know, all the logos are, this, you know, different, right? Uh, just make sure they are a certain size, uh, which is uh, listed here, all right, so you upload those, uh, you know, two images, the logo and background image, uh, all right, click save. And let me now show you the experience for the end user after it's all set and done. It might take a few hours for it to propagate. So if I, for example, have a user who is trying to log in to this site, all right, let me paste this URL here. Look what happens. You see immediately, immediately uh, it recognizes all right, because it's a site of, you know, that belongs to this tenant, to this domain. So immediately it loads the brand and page. And uh, as you can see, the logo and the background image that I had in there. In case if the user goes to the kind of generic portal.office.com, right, login page, uh, the minute that the user, you know, uh, enters uh, their uh, credentials, the email address, right? So you see, I'm entering uh, my SharePoint Maven uh, the main, you know, uh, credentials. Once again, it immediately recognizes the fact that, hey, you know, this domain belongs to the tenant, so uh, it, you know, better display, you know, the appropriate branding, which it does, right? Uh, and like I mentioned, uh, you can actually, you know, create, so uh, you only get, you get one, you know, default one, but you can always create alternate uh, login pages as well, you know, once again, if you want uh, you know, depending on the user who is logged in, right? If they are uh, logging in from, uh, uh, let's say, a non-English, you know, uh, speaking country, right? Uh, you know, you can actually customize those experiences uh, based on their language, right? And uh, uh, create uh, alternate uh, alternate branded uh, login pages this way.
All right, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this uh, particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.